What's going on Instagram? Hope you guys are having a great night. Just wanted to jump on here and chat a little bit. I've been um, diving into some different books that are helping me learn and become a better real estate investor. I'm by no means an expert, but I'm constantly trying to learn and evolve different strategies that are people are using today to become very successful with it. Um, so one of the strategies I've been looking into as I've seen a lot of success come from it is called the Burr strategy. Um, so that stands for buy, renovate, refinance, and rent. Um, so essentially this is a very, what I like to call a hardcore investment strategy um, because it, it, it takes a lot. You have to really focus when you come to this strategy. And, and the main thing you're gonna notice is on the first part, the buy. Um, so what you have to do is you have to buy the property for all cash. Um, you can use a loan, but then you have to factor into your equation the interest on that money and things like that. What you wanna do is work hard, save up, and have the ability to buy a property all cash. Now, when we look to buy this property, there's a mathematical equation where we can only buy this property for 70% of what the bank will refinance it for at the end when we have done full renovations. And I'll get to why that is. So when we buy the property, we renovate it, we rent it, and now the bank, you know, now we have leverage with the bank. The bank's not buying the property for us and not looking at my personal interest, my credit, my money. The bank is now going to refinance the, the asset I own. So if I've gone in and I've spent, so say I buy a home for $100,000, I put $25,000 into it. So I'm into the home for $125,000 and the bank is going to refinance that property once it's all done at $175,000. Um, so what you'll see there is I have the ability to pull all of my investment that I've put into this property back out so I can use it again but I still have a home. I still have it cash flowing. So your goal at the end here, guys, is to have the least amount of money left in the property so you can go and buy another home, but you still have the asset. So when that bank refinances it, if you've done your math and your strategy correctly, you still should be cash flowing something, even if it's $500 a month. That home cash flows $500 a month. It pays down the equity in the home. And then on top of that, we're hoping the home's gonna go up in value a little bit that we buy it in the right market. All with zero money of your own left in the home. That is the crazy part about this strategy. So when the bank refinances it, you pull all your money back out of the home and now you're ready to go buy another one immediately again. Obviously, I know the things you're saying here, guys. Saving up enough money to buy a home cash, finding the right deals, all these different things. It takes a ton of hard work. Um, I'm, I'm intrigued, I'm scared to start it myself, um, but you have to understand there are hundreds and thousands of people using this strategy today and, and doing very well with it. And, and the reason they're doing it is because they've worked, on up, worked hard up front and then they go find the right deal. Some of these deals, for you to be able to buy them at 70% of what they'll refinance for after you renovate it, they're gonna be dumpsters. They're gonna be not on MLS. They're gonna be from you going and door knocking people that have a hoarder's home that doesn't wanna sell it through a real estate agent because they're embarrassed, but if you offer them $150,000 cash, no conditions, they'd sign on the dotted line. So guys, if you're looking to learn about real estate investing, the Burr strategy is one you should take your time and really invest in. Get a book, get some knowledge rolling. Um, if you have any questions, guys, reach out to me. I don't remember the title off the top of my head right now, um, but hit me up in the DMs and I'll give you that book I was reading. You guys have a great evening. I look forward to chatting.